This gear case had a little water in it. So we got to take off the water pump. We'll do a visual on it. And, uh, and then we'll put some pressure to it and see if we, what we got going on. Let's start to take this all off. tabs i'm trying to avoid taking off the uh the housing the impeller cup so i want to gingerly try to take this off there we go perfect you want to try to get this housing off as easy as possible so you can leave this cup on i'll show you why in a second but uh since we're doing a whole new water pump kit gotta take these old o-rings off and with yamaha these housings they will melt if if they get if they run dry and the sign will be all this right here will be all melted it'll turn like a really light white color and then it'll it'll bubble if you ever see that then you have to get a new housing and you transfer the uh the grommet and this little clip thing over to the new housing if if it was melted but it's, we're in good shape here so I'll get a thinner screwdriver and I want to work off this collar. So gingerly, I work off one side, not too much pressure yet. Sometimes you have to use pressure, but if you're nice and gentle with it, it'll come right off and you can reuse it. There we go. And I like leaving this cup housing on because if it doesn't, it's really hard for you to use that. There's other techniques, but that's it. Works out good there. Just real quick. And then after that, I, I usually take off the housing to take this off. There's a pretty good curl on that. A little rust on this housing here. It's always nice to, to have a whole fresh impeller kit instead of a water pump kit instead of just the impeller. Take these off. These are pretty important. They got to hold the water, the impeller onto the plate, and you got to take notice. There's two flat washers and a wave washer, and the two flat washers go sandwich the wave washer, and that's how it goes on. I'll show you when it goes back on, but pretty important. You can't forget that. Will overheat. And this is coming off real nice for us. But man, that is pretty curled. So that's what happens in a couple years if you don't keep on it. And if it was overheated, all these lines that were on the bottom of this plate, it'll be completely flat and melted. You can see where it starts to get hot on this. But those look, all these lines are still showing good indication that there wasn't any overheat. I always use a stout chisel. I'm showing all my secrets, but not too sharp. Heavy though, very heavy. So when I hit this, I'm not gonna be nice to it. If you're nice to it, you'll cut it and you'll end up, there we go. So I'll give it one good smack. See that, you started it. And then after that, you could tip it out. And this is in the kit. This is another reason why you get a whole kit if we were to just to place the impeller by the next year, and if, it's, if, if the boat was regularly used, this would be all rust. And then it would fuse to the shaft and then it would be very hard to take off. So it's nice to have to. And I'll just chisel out for the next, when I put the other key in. This is where I'm suspecting where. Uh, that's another one. That's another reason. See this little, this little pin here, is part of the kit too. So. And, the impeller. The plates looks pretty good. I mean, there's a little wear to it. It would be okay. It'd work, but, you know what? Since uh. Since we either either way, since we're getting into the uh, the seals. We're gonna replace that. And this is the oil seal cover. 
that needs to be replaced. And I'm suspecting that these seals are letting water in. So this is 6.8V. This is what the 115s take. Again, I always like using the whole kit just for purposes like this. All right. Don't want to ever forget this. There's a lot of stuff to remember, but if you forget it, you're going to have problems. So I'm going to put the oil seal cover on. And where I cleaned it, actually see how it sits in there real nice. So when you put the water pump on and the cover, this little lip is going to press up underneath the plate. And that plate will hold this down and keep the water out, as much water as possible. So, all right. So I got these. I, I'll start them. I'll start the little tabs and I'll give them a little, a little tap just to get that in there. Um, I'll give it a good little push on the seal just to have it somewhat sit nicely. Um, here's the impeller. Look how nice that is. It's got its memory. It's in good shape. So ready for new. Kit comes with bolts. It's always a bonus. No rust in the cup, nice and clean, no grooves, flat surfaces. And same thing here. Flat surface, real nice. And your gasket. That's another thing is too, this gasket, sometimes it'll stick somewhere in the crack and you know, you can't put it back on, so you always just, just peace of mind, just get a new water pump kit. So all the hose line up. You can't put it on backwards, you can't put it on upside down. You know, everything's there. So this is where I was explaining earlier how this little seal, sometimes these oil seal covers, when they need to be replaced, they don't have this little lip anymore and it doesn't hold water out um, when, it, when the water pump pressurizes. And then I'll have this down here. I'll hold it and then the keyway yeah, it's kind of hard to you know get it in there sometimes I'm lucky and I can just squeeze it just a touch where it'll stay and it's not gonna stay let's see uh, give it a little push oh look so try not to touch anything and have your pin I'll usually hold it like literally a quarter inch out and I'll whack it really hard just to get it in and pray it doesn't pop out. There it is, cool. So once it's in that much, then you can finagle it any way which is comfortable. I try to turn it away from that slot because if it doesn't, it goes down in there and then you really have to dig it out. So tap it in and it should sit nice and flat. And a little tap on the bottom. That looks good. Cool. If you don't get it in there flat, it's gonna be hard to get that get the impeller in, but there's there's ways around that. And you push it in there. And all the way down to the plate. There's that. Now the important thing is that a lot of people forget that they put everything together and they look over and like, oh we forgot these flat or these flat washers with the wave washer. This is gonna hold down the water pump, the impeller to the plate. So you can imagine if, it, if you don't put it on there and you forget it, that impeller is not gonna to sit to the plate hard enough. And I'll use a seven eighths wrench. look at it make sure oh this side's up a little bit tap it in and you can actually see that impeller make a perfect circle because it's now it's it's forced down onto the plate I like to have it good and tight again I'm always generous with uh, the 24c there we go 
So I'll fill this whole thing up with grease like this, right? And I'll make a good good liner of grease. And then I'll shove it right where that O-ring is supposed to sit. This is pretty, you gotta make sure, just pay attention what you got here. So you wanna put it back the way you got it. Or took it out. So I'll take that grease. Since that trough was full of grease, I'll just pat that in there. That's that's gonna hold in real nice. There's a couple little tangs that line up into these little tangs. And this little cup will sit just like this and you just nice and snug. That grease really helps you get it get it centered and slide in there nicely. So I'll grab the grease. And I'll just layer the whole top side. This is to help hold this O-ring in. So I'll just I'll just be really generous with this. And look at that. I'm pushing it on, and then I'll use this excess grease. And again, I'll grease these bolts. Get them all greased. Try not to waste. And when you put it on there, I always grab a rag and I grab, I put it on the top shaft, on the shaft, grab, grab a good grip. The rag helps, completely helps. And I'll turn it clockwise and push down at the same time. Now with all that grease that I got O-rings holding in, you look at, you visually see the, the gaps. There's no gap. It's all flat. It's all sitting flush. So that means those O-rings that I had in there aren't pinched or compromised. So I uh, for, and then I'll, I'll I'll just hold down the water pump with one hand just in case it pops up. Usually it doesn't, but that's just to avoid any issues. That. All right, and again, generous on the grease. I always get, I just fill up the splines. And what's nice about it too, there's a there's like a, a collar up in, up in the housing of the, of the engine. And I'll grease this too. You can actually see a clear spot where, on this side, where it, uh, it rides. And I'll get the shift shaft. And to put that hose back on, I'll make it real easy for us to slide that hose on with a little grease. <laughs> 